What's up? Welcome to the Cultural Recipe. I'm Jerron. This is Mo. Yes, sir. And we're about to get into an open conversation. Is Steph Curry top 10 after this finals MVP in his fourth ring? Let's get into it. Hold on, hold on. You went like this. You held up five. I, I said four. No, 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 no. You went like four. this. I, I, I swear to God. You went like this. Run the tape. I said four. Four. Y'all come in. Yeah, y'all come. Hey, um, real, real quick. Is Kwame Brown a big stepper? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> All right, uh, so do you think Steph is a top 10 player of all time? Yes, but just barely. So what puts him in there? Accomplishments, that's it. Was he a better one-on-one -on -one player than a black Anybody player? in the top 10, though. No. Hell, people outside of the top 10 are better one-on-one -on -one players than he is. Kyrie. I say Russell, is too. Sure. And his generation. Kevin Durant. Yeah. Why? Yeah. You got a lot of better one-on-one -on -one players, but it's a team game, you feel me? Of course. Um, honestly, it's just accomplishments. But, you know, today... He got four rings. I've been playing devil's advocate. Arguing why he could not be one. So let's get into it. Why, why would you say he's nah, not? You start. You start. I want to I hear your case and I'm a, I'm a slanderer. Bro, what? I'm a slanderer. Even though I agree with you, I'm a slanderer. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Bro, are you serious? I'm an asshole. Like, word? I'm just, I'm just, you, you're going to be slandering my case? All right, let's start this. Let's do well, I'll, go, I'll go as accomplishment. Let's, let's, no, let's do our top tens. All right, go. go. Got Mike at one, Ron at two, Kareem at three, Magic at four. Ah. I, I moved Kobe out. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be honest now. I got, not Larry. I got uh, Tim Duncan at five. I got Larry at, no, I got Kobe at six. I got mm. Larry at seven. Um, I got Russell at eight. I got Shaq at nine. Sorry, Chamberlain, you're out. <sighs> no, step it in. I got Mike, LeBron, Kareem, Magic, Timmy D, Larry, Kobe, Bill Wilt, and Curry at the 10th spot. Did you move down Shaq and Hakeem? Nah, I moved. Yeah, so Curry, Luke Frog, Shaq, and Hakeem. I had Shaq at 11. He's 12 now, and Hakeem blew up. I can't do. I can't go that far. He he leapfrogged both of them, bro. I can't move Shaq out the way. We got four rings. Shaq Steph got, two got more, just just, just two more ring. Finals MVPs. Okay. And Shaq deserved a lot more MVPs than that. Like we could we could always play that game. Yeah, that's true. A lot of people be like, yeah, Mike never retired. He, he, he would have rings. Like, fuck out of here. Like, like Steph, Steph's a career 24 game, six assists. You're talking about a four time NBA champion, two time MVP, two time scoring champ, eight time All NBA. You revolutionized the game. Sure. He is the inaugural. Magic Johnson, Western Conference MVP. I feel like you also, while you revolutionized it, you could argue you kind of ruined it. How so? Because people look at Steph now and think they can just pull up from half court for no reason and they have a game to win. Just because Steph does it, why can't I? I think the zone defense ruined the NBA. And me and, my uncle, and me and my uncle were talking about this. It's literally... Back in the 90s, you had to be a good one-on-one -on -one defender. True. Steph, Steph and Curry wouldn't probably make a roster. It would, he'd be coming off the bench. He'd come off the bench. Oh, wow. Because, because at least in the beginning of his career, he's a very one-sided player. Yeah, for sure. Like, now he, he's, he's, he's a serviceable defender. He's improved. But he still sure. gets hit in the zone. Okay. He doesn't guard the best guards. Like, that's the thing. You had six-foot Isaiah Thomas having to guard Magic. <laughs> I'm pissed as hell. But that, that's kind of required. You couldn't get help. 
I think the zone ruined it. If you saw the, the zone destroyed the big man. Yeah. Shaq, the year the zone happened, had a complete drop off in his stats. Because they're like, we don't have to play you one on one anymore. We're just going to send help. Yep. So that, that's part of it. That's why I got Shaq so high. It's like, he, he went through all that crap. He was like, I don't care, bro. Move. Like, get off of me. No, I, I'm, I'm saying when, when the zone got introduced, like the year after he dropped off. But uh, they they come and play one on one. That's why he's so dominant. Yeah. They can only play one on one. Facts, facts, facts. So. The only one who's really banging with him in his era is King. Yeah, I say King. I say uh, early 2000s, it was uh, Ben Wallace. Mm. He's yeah, a Ben Wallace. Very underrated. Well, anyway, Steph revolutionized the game. He's the best three point shooter that God ever created. I mean, he's he's going to run away with the lead, lead of the three point bank. I think I think he'd be the most efficient. He just allowed to take the most. You know? Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah. Like you're not. It's very hard if you're not LeBron or Jordan. It's very hard to be efficient taking a lot of shots. That's why they're so good. They're dominant. They could take a lot of shots and still be efficient. Yeah, that's true. That's why when uh, people bring up the fact, oh, Mike wasn't a great three-point shooter. No, but his three-point shooting didn't cost his team. But he's still a shooting guard, 49% from the field. No, I'm talking about from the field. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm saying just from the field. Mm-hmm. A three, I feel like if he came up in this era, he would have developed a three-point shot. So he would have been better from three. Mm-hmm. But we'll Can never know. Case, yeah. But know. The, the, the current player I see who mimics his game is Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Who's a good three point shooter? Yeah, for sure. But he does. His thing is he doesn't choose to shoot threes. I think that's what got Curry over the hump. Yeah. When he's like, they're gonna run me off the three point line, so I need to develop a bunch of floaters, inside passes, and flips. He is a flips. good driver of the ball. He's not the best, but he's pretty good. My uncle brought up a point that Kyrie's the best under the rim finisher ever, or current day. Ever. And he had staff top five un- under the rim finishers. He's not athletic, but he has touch on everything. That floater's nasty. It is, him. it is. He finger rolls a floater in. Like. Finger rolls into space, comes back into it. Yeah. So you're you're talking about a guy who he's one of the best teammates of all time. He took the he took the backseat to KD. We all we all know. This is what I'm gonna say. We we all know. KD would have been was the best player on that team, but if Steph was the one they were double teaming, he got more double teams and more attention. The Cavaliers for their game plan. KD went off for 30 points, and they said their game plan went according to plan. Because they got the ball out of Steph's hand. You feel me? Steph was the focus. Defenses were focused on Steph when they were both on the team. You know this. You know this. They focus on Steph. I'm on you. I'm on to you. And even then, if he's really a better player than Steph, why does Steph have two rings without him? KD has zero rings. KD had two of the best point guards of all time. Without Steph, Russ and Kyrie, and can't get a ring out of any of that. True. The rest of his career, he's played with one of those two. I mean, who's got a ring with Russ? We'll see. I don't see anybody doing it. I'm if sorry. Bron doesn't even go, <laughs> they do it. They should. Stop it! I, I'm not to give it to him. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> no, I'm playing. Uh, maybe a ring and a and and a. Yeah, I, I told you. That, that's what it takes, because then he'd match Jordan with accomplishments. Not the ring. Bro. Not the ring, but he, everything else. Yeah. Well, defensive player of the year as well. I mean, Jordan's the, the best you defender. You know, this ain't a Jordan Braun debate for him. Yeah. Okay, uh, so ring, Steph but... revolutionized the game. Best shooter of all time. Very underrated passer. And the current NBA draws the most gravity of any player. Any one player, yep. he's the only player you gotta guard half court in. Yep. 
Like, I'm not guarding KD at the logo. He's going to have to come in a little. <laughs> Dame, I'll let him shoot it. Yeah, he's not efficient. Yeah. Trey Young, yeah, I'll, I'll let him shoot that because he, he'll give me back five turnovers again. Big Big Plus, Steph influenced a lot of games. So, if you're going to put Kobe up there for influencing games and legacy, Steph has to be in that conversation because if we're talking about the NBA, with just influence, Steph's on the Mount Rushmore. Most most current guards take their For influence? Yeah. Oh, okay. Most current most current guards take their games from Steph. John Moran. Prime example. He he don't he can't shoot threes like that. Why does he shoot as many threes as he does? So, two-time scoring champ, 50-40-90 season. The only player to get 50-40-90 season and exceed 30 points a game, making him one of the most efficient scorers. We bring up the KD debate, and Steph has better percentages from field goal, three, and free throw than Steph, than uh, KD career-wise. Steph has a better, he's more efficient. Yeah. So if y'all wanna talk, if y'all really wanna talk about who's the best shooter of all time, it's no question it's Steph. He's a very underrated passer, I think top ten in the league. Causes gravity. Underrated defender at this point. Oh yeah. And sacrifices he he would have way more scoring titles and 30 point performances if he didn't want to win a ring. Okay. That's why he's a top ten player. At this point, but go crazy. <sighs> go crazy. I'm gonna dispute everything you did. No, just play. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna go skip me on this one. Mm-hmm. But okay, I agree with the majority of your argument. Mm-hmm. I have Steph at ten as well. Um, but again, I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Why? Because I'm an asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Okay, so here's why you can argue. Hakeem over Steph or Will over Steph huh? right um, before this finals I had Will in my 10 I had um, Hakeem at my 11 spot and I had Steph at 12 mm-hmm. and honestly I went for a while back and forth between Steph and Big O at um, 12 and 13 for a minute um, but I gave it to Steph for accomplishments mm-hmm. and I think Big O can even respect it Shots may go. Um, Oscar. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me look at my top ten. Jordan, obviously, no. Mm. Bron, obviously. Can people stop making that comparison? Please stop. I get it. They have the same amount of rings. But who was who? I get it. Steph has the majority of his rings against Bron, right? Bron has a whole who Hall of Fame who? career. Who outplayed who in every final? Mm. 2017 and 2018 wasn't Steph the third best player on the court. That's my point. Okay, so Brian out the way. Kareem, come on. Are you are you kidding me? No. Magic. People stop saying Steph's better than Magic. Please stop. If you think that, do your research. Straight up. Do your research. Even Magic has a whole Hall of Fame career better than Steph Curry does. No, Steph's definitely not the best point guard of all time. No, I think it's magic and it's not even close. Yeah, it's by by leaps and bounds. Right. Tim Duncan? No. He's not better than Tim. No. Kobe? No, stop it. No. This is what I'll say. Accomplishments wise? This is what I'll say. Not quite yet. That defensive side of the ball? That's who. That's who. That's who. Rest in peace. Mentality, baby. Larry Bird? Larry Bird? No. They're pretty, close. Little They're pretty close. That's why Steph like sneaks into the ten spot. But um, let's talk about uh, Russell, best winner of all time, the ultimate winner in NBA history. Okay. Obviously, we one. know you know the league wasn't what it is now. Eighteen, right? It's not as hard, but it, it's Bill Russell. You just gotta show respect. Mm-hmm. The OG and I don't know if he's named after him. Or... That that too. Um, and nobody's in the Eclipse 11 rings. I don't see that. At least not for a while. We'd have to see it. I don't see it for a while. Like a seven-footer 
with Kyrie's head moves, with Jordan's athleticism, and Bron's IQ to do that. That's almost KD. Nah. Almost. Not there yet. Like Kawhi's defense, like you, oh, you'd yes, have to he. get. You'd have to get a sign. Chris point. Paul's passing, like oh, you'd have to get like a, a ninety-nine in everything, basically. Yeah, that's to cool, do man, that. bro. Anyway, <laughs> but real talk. <laughs> We're not talking about Kawhi, man. <laughs> but real talk. Um, like <laughs> Adam Morrison. <laughs> Skitty's really. Um, oh, man. But here's the thing. We can talk about um, Will Chamberlain possibly still being ahead of Steph because of Why? regular season. All the numbers. The record books is the biography of Will Chamberlain's basketball career. Huh? Basically. Like... People don't hit Will numbers ever. Like and when they when they when they get there, it's a big deal. Like Demar Derozan earlier this season, he hit. I don't remember exactly what stat it was. It was it's like, thirty point game. Yeah, like 30, 30 point games or thirty five point games, something like that. And people were like on social media going crazy about it because it's like it's Wilt numbers. So Wilt, Wilt's not even the best scorer of all time because that's Michael Jordan. Yeah. Then we got Kareem, who was a better scorer than Wilt. They played the same position, and Kareem was more consistent and had a long, had longevity on him. You know, let me say one thing as a side note. I don't, I, part of me doesn't believe the hard point game happened. <laughs> nah, man, I'm serious. sorry. I'm just, part of, I believe it, but another part of me is like thinking, I have, I have questions. Because there's no broadcast whatsoever, even though there was TVs back then. It's like the 60s, right? It's hit or miss if you get a broadcast I've seen, like I've seen stuff from the 60s on YouTube. I ain't seen it's no kind of highlight. If you get it. You uh, I've seen a lot. Like, imagine they had games on a Tuesday night. Dude, who's watching that, man? They was watching the news back then, bro. They were. Hey, Watergate, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Max. But yeah, um, that's a side note. I believe it happened, though. Um, just that that hundred point game, that's that's iconic. Mm. Even though a lot of, nobody nobody alive ever saw it, <laughs> it's iconic. I bet. But <laughs> Will he average in fifty average, for a season? There you go. Look, Will has Getting all 50 the numbers. rebounds in a game. Will has all the numbers. The argument for Steph get fifty rebounds in exactly, a game. Exactly, exactly. Steph has all the numbers. Uh, not Steph. Will has all the numbers. But accomplishment wise. Wilt's not on Steph's level. I think he is. Uh, two rings yeah. for all the numbers. That's a bit weak. Free throw percentage, horrible. He's I guess center. Steph. Nah. He's a center. But that is you horrible. You put Shaq in your top number. 10. But Shaq will make him when, you, when he needs to. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. They, I literally saw a breakdown of this. And this man had the exact same percentage he did in the clutch. But it didn't cost his team like it, like it did for Will. Man, what was by far the best player on this team? Shaq, his last ring, wasn't his best player on this team. And you you argue Kobe all the time was a better player. Yeah, without question. Because the, what did Shaq do without Kobe? Before, Got before and after. Who, won, who was finals MVP? Got it. Dwayne Wayne. Yeah. Who, who was finals MVP? The two times Kobe got one without Shaq. And was it even close? No, but nope. they were together. Yeah. And Shaq got all the finals. But right? remember how old Kobe was. How old was Shaq? Shaq, Shaq was is in his prime. Exactly. Kobe. Coming barely up. in his 20s. Yeah, coming up. So you got to remember you gotta remember that too. It all has context. Yeah. It's all context. That's why I personally Kobe over Shaq. Me too. Me too. I had him in my top five for a minute, but I, I sat down the other day and I thought about it. Kobe? Like, like, come on. I, just, I can't do this. He does enough accomplishments. It's the nostalgia that really made me do that. Nostalgia's crazy. Like, we want to put T-Mac and AI up there. No, I don't. T-Mac's not in my top 75. AI? AI, though. AI's not in my top 25. But he's in your top 30. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Carl Malone's in my top 25. You're talking about a dude who took a team with Dikembe Mutombo, 30 years old, and Eric Snow is the second best player. You want to talk about LeBron? Let's talk about AI. AI by far took the worst team to the Matumbo, final. Wasn't Matumbo defensive player of the year that year? Oh my God. No, he wasn't. Sha- didn't Shaq throw him around like a rag doll? Yeah, but he was still a defensive player of the year. Yeah, it wasn't Marcus Smart defensive player of the year this year? What happened? What are you, why are you doing this? Why do you have mm-hmm. such, such a hate for him? I don't have a hate player? for him. He's one of my favorite players, but Steph fried him. We got we to admit that. Steph cooked him. 
The yeah, whole series is right, cooking right, them. Right. Did yeah. Drew Holiday get a 30 point game off him? 20, I think. Yeah. 20 and 10, though. And that, that's not what he does. Drew Holiday? But he can't let Drew Holiday score over 10 points. Like, like. I agree with you, though. Uh, but yeah, that's just my. I'm not going to go too hard on Steph because honestly, I, I don't have him on top of my top 10 anymore. I did, but I don't anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do want to say this to people. I know I'm a LeBron fan. You're probably like, oh, you just need that. No. They don't compare. Just stop. Just stop. Him and Magic don't compare you. So let's, let's separate him. He got two MVPs on set. He got two final MVPs. Three final MVPs. Yeah, because Steph got one. Brown got four. Brown got three finals MVPs on Steph. Oh, all well, three more. Huh? Yeah. He got all of his all of his all defensive selections because Steph isn't been close to all defensive selections. Exactly. And it's all great. Like they don't compare. If Him we go Magic, if we go averages, if we go averages, Brown averages more points, rebounds, and assists than Steph. He does. Here's the thing, right? On a better percentage. Uh, another side note: LeBron is and Kobe don't belong in the same conversation. Yeah, I don't know why people do that. I think it's nostalgia. Like Kobe I think was more fun to watch, but it's pe- not. people want. People are like so such like big Jordan fans. That Kobe. They're, they're, was Kobe yeah. Kobe. So it's like. I'm like he's not better than Bron. No. We, we we could say, we, we could say Jordan was better than Bron. But you can't say Kobe is better. Nope. Than I'm sorry. I love Kobe as best. I don't know that match was worse. But, you know. You want to laugh? <laughs> you covered your mouth. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that, but. Man, I, I was just shocked, honestly. <laughs> it was. That was horrid, bro. What? Why'd you say something like that? Why did it happen? R.P. Kobe. One of the worst men in the world. For real. Also, one of the best. Because Edge came back. Like the perfect mix for me, bro. Like, I, that, that made my that made up my mood for like the, the next thirty minutes after. That. All right, so anyway, that's, we're not here about. So that that's, that's the open conversation. We both agree. Steph top ten. Uh, stop comparing him to LeBron. Stop Twitter. comparing him to Magic. Stop. Stop. I know a lot of y'all didn't see Magic. I didn't either. Obviously. Do your research, man. You you, you watch that Lakers documentary on HBO? No, I'm not doing it. Go watch that. Even Magic don't like it. I'm not doing it. You don't, you don't like it? Magic don't it's, like it. It's good. Magic don't like it. It's a good document. I don't trust it. It's good. <laughs> I don't trust it. Magic says he don't like it, so I'm like, why would I watch this? They, they kind of they kind of everybody felt these days. They had Kareem looking like a bow. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, nah, um. Y'all let us know y'all's opinions. Is, yeah. Steph, is Steph top 10? Is he top 10? Is he still on it? Under that, if you if you're these top ten of you, is he the best point guard of all time? Are you Antoine Walker and having me your top thirty? You tell us in the comments. This has been the culture recipe. Drawn Mo, power to the people, baby.